In the last video, we covered HTML5 structure tags, and we covered the header, the nav, the aside, and the section tag. In this video, we're going to take a look at the article element as well as the main element. But before we do that, I want to talk about the difference between the article element and the section element. This has generated a lot of confusion, and mainly that's because these are very, very similar. And I mean that they are very, very close in what they do. And basically, they just group related content. So again, if you use one or the other, you really can't go wrong. But you might ask, well, what is the difference? Well, the article element is intended for content that might exist outside of the article itself. So this may be a running blog that you have, or it may be a news feed, something like that. So in that case, you probably want to use the article element. The section element is intended for content that exists only within that section. It's really more of a one and done. Think of it like that, a one and done format. But other than that, they are very, very similar. So first, let's talk about the main element tag that you can use in HTML5. Now, of course, we identified this section in the last video with the HTML5 section element. But actually, you can also use the main element here as well. And what this does is it basically identifies the main section in your page. So we can go ahead and use main here instead of the section element tag. And again, you want to use that for the main section in your web page. Pretty simple stuff. And usually you're only going to use this one. So you're not going to put multiple mains around here. It's a one shot deal. So let's go ahead and update this. And we'll go ahead and put in our main right here. And then we'll go ahead and close it. So we're just going to replace the section element with the main element. There we go. And let's flip over to our style sheet and let's go ahead and update section here. We need to put in main now since we don't have the section element anymore. And let's go ahead and save this. And let's just go ahead and refresh our page and make sure everything looks okay. And it does. Good. Now, what you can do now is put articles inside the main element tag because the main element tag is more of a wrapper. So you're actually not going to put content directly inside the main tag. You're usually going to put an article in there. So let's go ahead and do that. So uh, I'm just going to go over here and copy and paste this because I'm lazy. Just kidding. Okay, so let's go down here and we'll put that right here. Good. And now let's go ahead and just close it out. And there we go. We've got our article element tag. And what you're going to do now is you can put all the content that you want. You could put in your image, you could put in images, paragraphs, uh, headings, whatever you wanted to do. In this case, we're just going to put in uh, one heading. We're not really too worried about content. We've done that in other videos. I've got this already typed out, so I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste that right in here. There you can see. Now we've got our H2 element and it says article element. Good. Now what you could do is let's say this was a news story and basically another news story came out. Well, you could create a new article and put it right here. You could have like an ongoing RSS feed. So that's what the article tag really is for. It's used for blogs and news feeds. So let's go ahead and save this. And I added some CSS already before the lecture, and I'll show you what I added. So basically for the article, I used the type selector here, and I just added a border. We've done this in many other lectures, right? I added a margin around it, which gives it five pixels, and I've added a height of 200 pixels. I also went ahead and centered the text for the H2 element. So everything is set. And as usual, of course, I will put this code in the description of this video. So let's flip back here and let's actually open up a new screen here. So let's just open up a brand new screen we'll, and we'll launch this in Chrome as usual. And let's expand this out. And there you can see we've got our article element now. And again, like I said, you can just come back and add as many articles as you want. That's sort of the idea here. You're just managing content. You can just keep adding articles to your ongoing blog or newsfeed or whatever it is. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video.